Air assist. It is so important. A lot of videos you see are going to concentrate on trying to sell you a laser and how powerful it is and all this and that, which is important. But one of the most important things about a laser, in my opinion, is the air assist. So if you have no ability to get that on your laser, I wouldn't even get it. And that's how important it is for me. And the laser I ended up di uh, you know, purchasing, which is the Ortur Laser Master 3, has a terrible air assist. And so you might think, well, why did I get that? Because I pretty much knew I was going to have to do it on my own anyways. And this did seem like one of the perfect machines to test that on. I mean, most lasers that you buy, consumer lasers, they do not have an air assist that goes directly through the top uh, of the laser module and goes right through the laser. That seemed like the perfect solution. But for some reason, theirs doesn't work right. And I think they next to admit that, but we're going to go through that uh, pretty soon. I have just a generic air assist uh, like this one up here to the left. Mine is a Diwali, but they're all pretty much the same ranging about a hundred bucks and they come with the hose and everything. Well, the Ortura Laser Master 3 also comes with a hose. So this was helpful because now I have two hoses. And so I was able to easily try two different solutions and that's what we're gonna go over to here. And so I have done a lot of testing with different things about the Air Assist. And this is probably useful for your laser as well, even if you don't have a Laser Master 3. So here, let's move over and I will show you what I'm talking about. And if you have any questions about it, just ask and I'll put it in another video. All right, so let's dig in a little closer to what I was talking about. I cut this kind of everything. I'm just going to show you what I can. This is the uh, nozzle that comes with the Laser Master 3 and the cover. Now, I will eventually probably make a hole in here and use what, I, what I'm going to show you to uh, go through that because I like having the cover on. Uh, I could just kind of glue one to the front and I'm sure that would be fine. My major problem is that, well, <laughs> I've had many problems with the Air Assist uh, with the Laser Master 3, but I think almost every laser, especially the diode lasers that I've seen, oh, even the CO2s, uh, Air assist has not been done correctly. And I've seen modifications, which is why I decided to do it. I've seen them work so well on CO2 lasers that it was night and day how much better performance that I got uh, with the updated air assist. So I decided, hey, um, I did it with my Jinsoku, it made it so much better. I did it with the Atom Stack, also so much better. But really, the Laser Master 3 had the worst out of any air assist that I've ever seen. Uh, and I kind of get this from the text from the Laser Master 3 as well. Um, that they, didn't, they don't want us to use this nozzle when we are engraving. But I don't want to have to take this off every time that I want to switch from cutting to engraving. Sometimes I want to do both at the same time. So it didn't make any sense to me. They have the perfect air assist set up, in my opinion, at least what it looks like, because you can just attach it right from the top and you're done. And you have this nozzle and everything's perfect. Issue. Uh, I was getting, somehow, I don't know how it does it, but smoke was getting up through this thing and it gets into the lens and it starts uh, getting onto your lens. So you have to clean your lens pretty often, which is also a pain. And it's so much easier to scratch your lens or make a mistake that if you have to keep cleaning it. So as much as I absolutely adore this machine, Air Assist was something I had to fix and it wasn't that difficult to do it. This is one of the easiest things. I mean, it already comes with the hose. So I just went to the store and I bought some of this uh, piping. Now, there are different sizes. Uh, I just put one inside my hose, made sure it fit okay. The smallest one possible that I could get away with and be able to just zip tie and uh, tape down, which is what I did. I used some Gorilla Tape and some zip ties. And as you can see in the video, I just put it, uh, zip tied it to the side 
of the laser module. Now, this is a temporary thing because I wanted to be able to test it out and see which one worked best or if it was even better. And boy, was it better. I mean, you could see the, the differences here. Um, this is, by the way, is their air assist. You see, the old one, this is with no air assist for the Laser Master 3. And it works great. I mean, it's, yeah, a little scorching here and there, but this was thinner wood, by the way. This is 3 millimeter, so I'm getting into thicker stuff here, but it actually does better with the air assist. So with this 3 millimeter, you can see the air with no nozzle, so taking this off, um, it does improve the cutting, or it seemed to. Uh, but look how much worse it looks. Same thing with the air with, with the nozzle. So I jump over here, we got the five millimeter, and this is with no air, and you can see how bad that is. And then you jump over here to my custom air. Now this is the first one that I did. You can see it's, it goes down to the side, and as you can see in the video, it kind of brushes from the side, which really helps with the engraving. It made it very, very clean. Look how much better that is. But I wasn't getting any, getting any improvement in the cutting. So I thought, okay, well maybe I need to bend it both ways. So you can take a look at that, at how, how I did that. And I've got it to where it's almost coming straight down. And then I switched to the quarter inch birch, which I was having trouble cutting. I did not get it to go through this quarter inch birch at all. At 100 and 100, I can't even push that out. Now it did some very nice engraving. It's, uh, you can see the standing there on the side from uh, the tar, the glue from the wood. And yeah, it just doesn't look that great with no air, but it's doing okay. But then look at the difference. Wow, you see none of those stains and look how much better it cut out. So this is with it bending both ways and kind of coming almost straight down with the laser. So this worked really well. I'm very, very happy with it. And I think it is so much better than what came with the laser and uh, with no air at all. So this, this is the best of all I've seen. It leaves a pretty nice overall job. And the cutting is so improved, which is very important. You got to be able to use a lot more, a lot less power and do it a lot quicker. So that's super helpful. I will keep you updated on this type of thing because this is what I'm going to be doing with the Laser Master 3. I'm going to get all of their accessories. I'm going to get every single thing I can. And I'm going to improve this machine as much as I possibly can. Now, if you don't have a Laser Master 3, a lot of my suggestions are going to help for your laser as well. But uh, I am particularly uh, using that machine and I want to improve it as best I possibly can. Uh, I, I do think it's a fantastic... Uh, laser and I am put it through the paces. I am using it every single day and I'm loving it more and more. But air assist was the main thing that I wanted to fix and it seems like I've got that pretty much down. So uh, let's see what else I can do with this thing. I'm going to give it a more permanent solution, which means I will probably glue it down to the side. Like I said, I think I will put a hole in this so that I can continue to have it. Um, that's what I'm going to do. So uh, keep posted, subscribe, like, all that sorts of thing. And I, and let me know what I missed in this and maybe what I can do better or the things that you're looking to improve with your machine. All right. See you in the next one.